A number of Star Trek lead cast members actually got their starts as guest stars or as random characters in various episodes. Star Trek in general shuffles around actors quite a bit, but today I want to focus on only those actors that eventually went on to be series regulars. In the original series, there wasn't really anybody who could come back from a previous part to play a major role, considering it was the first series. But it should probably be mentioned that Majel Barrett had originally depicted the first officer of the Enterprise in the first pilot episode before going on to play Nurse Chapel, who kind of resides on the boundary of the main cast in the original series. TNG is also kind of sparse with examples, but let's start with Diana Muldor, who we know primarily from her role as Dr. Pulaski in Season 2 of The Next Generation. Muldor actually appears in two episodes of the original series as different characters. First, she appeared in the episode Return to Tomorrow as Lieutenant Commander Anne Mulhall, an astrobiologist who accompanies Kirk, Spock, and McCoy to Sargon's planet. Later in the series, Muldor would appear as psychologist Miranda Jones, who worked with the Medusan ambassador Kolos. Moving on, Armin Shimmerman, who is legendary for his depiction of Quark in Deep Space Nine, actually played three different roles in The Next Generation. His first appearance was as the Ferengi Laytech in The Last Outpost. Soon after, he would depict the creepy Betazoid gift box that announced Counselor Troy's wedding in the episode Haven. Rejoice! <laughs> And he would also depict another Ferengi in the episode Peak Performance. Why do you now protect your former target? DS9's René Aubergenois also got his start elsewhere in the Star Trek world, as Colonel West in The Undiscovered Country. If you've only seen the theatrical cut, you wouldn't know it, but this Klingon is the human Colonel West in disguise. But his scenes aren't particularly easy to come by, as they're only visible on the VHS and original DVD releases of the film. I should also mention DS9's Gul Dukat, Wei Yun, and Martok. They weren't main cast members, but they're all major recurring characters, and were all also played by previous Star Trek guest stars. Mark Alimo actually depicted the first Cardassian we ever saw, and the only one with facial hair. He also played an Antican ambassador, a Romulan commander, and a Gambor in Time's Arrow. Jeffrey Combs, who we all know as Weyoun in Deep Space Nine, actually played two other roles before he depicted Weyoun. First as an alien that Major Kira has some trouble getting rid of in the episode Meridian, and as the FCA liquidator Brunt in the episode Family Business. Of course, Brunt would go on to appear eight times in the show. And finally, J.G. Hertzler first appeared as the Vulcan captain of the Saratoga in the first episode of DS9. His first two appearances as Martok were actually as a changeling pretending to be Martok. He finally appeared as Martok himself in Season 5's In Purgatory's Shadow. He would then go on to depict Martok in over 20 episodes. Star Trek Voyager had three main cast members who appeared previously in episodes of The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and in one film. Tim Russ first appeared as a human mercenary in Starship Mine. Later, he would appear as a Klingon in DS9's Invasive Procedures, and about a year later, he depicted a bridge officer of the Enterprise B in Star Trek Generations. Ethan Phillips got his Star Trek start as the unethical Ferengi Dr. Ferek in the Season 3 episode Menage a Troy, and Robert Duncan McNeil initially depicted Cadet Nicholas Locarno in the Next Generation episode The First Duty. Moving on to Enterprise, all of the main cast on Enterprise were newcomers to Star Trek, but some of its major recurring characters were Star Trek veterans. Gary Graham, who played Ambassador Saval, had previously appeared as an exceptionally old Okampa in Voyager's Season 2 episode Cold Fire. Of course, Jeffrey Combs once again plays a new major recurring character, and Admiral Forrest was played by Von Armstrong, who depicted eight different characters before taking on a recurring role in Enterprise. Anyway, it's fun to see which actors ended up as major characters after playing obscure parts in random episodes. I hope you liked exploring that, and feel free to give me ideas of things that I should cover next.